to everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. Israelites, in order for the Most High to use you to spread the truth, you have to be able to relate and sympathize with other people. Nobody wants to be around a super religious person. Most people avoid such a person because they assume a self-righteous person wants to shove the Bible down their throat. The stereotypes that plague a super religious person is that they are self-righteous, judgmental, and arrogant. Most people believe a super religious person assume everyone who do not share the same belief as them are destined to the lake of fire. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldst thou destroy thyself? The Bible reveal we all have sinned and fallen short of Yah's glory. Nobody is going to believe you when you act self-righteous and convince yourself that you are properly keeping all the laws of the Most High. A self-righteous person makes everyone around them uncomfortable due to their inability to relate to other people. Israelites, it is important for you to be able to serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth, as well as have the ability to relate to other people who are unaware of this awakening. You do not want to be high-minded that when people see you coming, they run from you. There are multiple reasons you find it difficult to help other Israelites understand their true heritage. Your family and friends knew you before the Most High wake you out of your deep sleep. Since they remember the days you went to the club, drink, smoke, curse, fornicate, and many other sins, it's going to take time to convince them of the major turning point in your life. They are looking at you from the fruits you produced in the past. Israelites, it is through your behavior that will convince a person to seek the Most High. Wherefore? By their fruits, you shall know them. It is important that you practice what you preach. In addition, you are producing good fruits. If I decide to browse YouTube in search of other Israelite channels, and I come across a channel where the teacher is carnal-minded, alternatively, I cannot tell the difference between the Israelite teacher who have returned to serving the Most High and a person who is being led by the lust of their flesh. That Israelite is producing bad fruits. I know many of you have come across Israelite YouTube channels where the teacher's every other word is a curse word. He or she is not producing good fruits. This is why the Hebrew Israelites gain a bad reputation. The leaders are producing bad fruits. What is the difference between a man that stands on a corner loitering and harassing women with a man that is standing on the same corner with a Bible and degrading their women and harassing non-Israelites? There is no difference. Such individuals are producing bad fruits. The combination of publicly harassing the heathens and Israelites, self-appointed teachers who are in the flesh are causing many Israelites and strangers to stumble. Through their action led to the negative perspective of the awakening. Many have deemed the Israelite awakening a cult. It is important that you practice what you preach. Your behavior play an important part in the awakening. Let's say you're trying to convince your family members to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You show them scriptures to confirm that you must keep the Sabbath. Later on the week, the Sabbath day is here and you're working and shopping. You treat the Sabbath day like a normal day. You are producing bad fruits. Not only are you setting a bad example, but you're also a hypocrite. When Yahshua started his three-year ministry and returned home to his native country to teach his people, the people could not comprehend who he was because they grew up with him and they knew him. Now he is this influential prophet full of wisdom. 
The people in his native country did not accept him because to them he was the son of the carpenter. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue insomuch that they were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. The people could not get past the fact that Yahshua was Joseph's son. In their eyes, he was a regular man like them. All of a sudden, he's a major prophet sent by the Most High. Likewise, Israelites, your friends and family is looking at you from the fruits you produce in the past and presently. This is why it can be difficult for you to convince your family and friends of their Israelite heritage. A total stranger can come along and repeat the same exact words and your family and friends will accept the words of the stranger over you. Your family know what you're capable of based on what they have seen from you. Your family members are not aware of the stranger's past. Therefore, they will listen to what the stranger have to say, especially if you displayed in the past that your credibility is not trustworthy. When a person feel you understand them and can relate to them, they will listen to you when you speak. Most people prefer to be around people who share the same goals and beliefs. Israelites, nobody wants to be around a person whose every word is a scripture, especially if the person they are talking to do not know the scriptures. Most people do not read their Bible, therefore they will not understand what you're saying to them. They will pretend to understand. When I was in the Christian church and I would fellowship with other members of the church, the members had no problem expressing themselves around me. The moment the pastor or the first lady comes around, everyone's demeanor changed. All of a sudden, they are holy and proper with their speech, pretending to understand the scriptures the pastor is quoting, acting as if they can relate to the pastor. You do not want people pretending to be something they are not just to keep up with you. You have to make your fellow Israelite feel comfortable so they can express themselves freely. When a person can let their guard down and be free, it gives you the opportunity to engage in meaningful conversations. If your conversation turns to our Israelite heritage, he or she will not shut down on learning about our heritage because the conversation naturally transitioned to the topic. Because you did not force the subject, that individual will listen to you. Israelites, there is nothing like meeting a person who triumphant over the same situation you are currently on and still able to relate. In addition, you are able to sympathize with them instead of judging them. Most people, when they elevate in life, they become boastful and mistreat those who are not on the same level as them. Some will not bother to help their fellow brother or sister overcome the same situation they've been through. They will turn a blind eye and find other people who's on the same level as them to fellowship with. The scriptures reveal Paul became like the people he was ministering to in order to help them. But though I be free from all men, Yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law, to them that are without law as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak, I have made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Let's say you are socializing with people society deem worldly or sinners. They are drinking, smoking, and partying. Some Israelites believe they are sinning if they are around people who do such things. It becomes sin when you participate. You have to make sure you are able to handle yourself if you find yourself in this kind of environment. If you know you cannot handle yourself, do not give Satan an opportunity to tempt you. Israelite, there is nothing wrong with befriending people who choose to live their life this way. You do not have to join in when they choose to engage in this kind of activity. Remember, it is through your behavior that will win them over. 
If you participate in the drinking and smoking, how are you any different? You have to remember the purpose. The people you are setting an example for will not take you seriously if you buckle under pressure. In addition, they may think it is okay to serve the Most High and still engage in activities that break the commandments of the Most High. Yahshua hung around sinners all day. He never allowed them to influence him to go against the will of the Father in his life. Yahshua was the leader. He was not the follower. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Israelites, it is important that you surround yourself with people who share the same belief as you, as well as people who do not. You cannot be around awakened Israelites only. You have to befriend Israelites who are not in the truth to help them. When you surround yourself with awakened Israelites only, how are you passing the message along and helping our people? You have to be around people who need to hear the message Yah placed in your heart. That is how Yah will use you to plant seeds. In order for you to plant good seeds and be victorious, the Spirit of the Most High have to prompt you to talk about the subject. If you are not led to talk about our Israelite culture, you should not force the message on a person. The reason you should not force the message, this may not be the destined time the Most High set for this person to wake up. When we run ahead of the Most High and force this truth, it will cause the people to reject the message and push them away from the Most High. It is important that you wait for the prompting of the spirit of truth to lead you. If I meet an Israelite who is unaware of their Israelite culture, I would not overwhelm him or her with scriptures proving we are the blood descendants of the Israelites. I will engage in a normal conversation with this individual. If our conversation leads to the scriptures, then I will follow the guidance of your spirit. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. When you are engaged in a conversation and you do not feel led to talk about our Israelite heritage, don't. Now may not be a good time to talk about our heritage. There is a destined time for everything. If I meet Sandra and Sandra asks me what products I use on my hair, I will give Sandra the list of products I use on my hair. I will also reveal to Sandra how I care for my hair if the conversation leads to that. If while Sandra and I are talking about our hair and she asks where I'm from, I will reveal more to Sandra about my background if I'm led to. Most Israelites ignore the spirit of the Most High and do what they believe is the will of the Father. They would ask Sandra about her heritage and proceed to inform her that she's an Israelite. They may even talk about head coverings. This Israelite is not following the guidance of the Spirit of the Most High. You do not want to jump right into trying to wake an Israelite out of their sleep. Only the Most High can do that. Most importantly, the Spirit of the Most High has to lead you into that conversation. Not everyone who looks like you are Israelites. Follow the leadership of Yah's Spirit. Remember, the scriptures reveal there is a time for everything. To everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under the heaven. Timing is important in this walk. Following the guidance of the Most High is how you will become successful in planting good seeds. Too many Israelites are building walls and separating themselves from people who are not in the truth. They only want to fellowship with other awakened Israelites. By secluding yourself is how this walk becomes lonely. What is the point of waking up from your sleep if you do not share the knowledge gained with the people who need this vital information? Yahshua said, I came to heal the sick, not the righteous. Awakened Israelites are on the right path to everlasting life. The sleeping Israelites that are on the broad road to destruction, they need our help. What if I disobeyed the Most High and refused to start Open Diaries YouTube channel? What if I decide to start an Israelite fellowship group in my neighborhood and exclude everyone outside my neighborhood? 
What if I decide to stop sharing my foundings online? How would this affect Open Diaries subscribers and guests who come across this channel? What if I build a community for awakened Israelites only and exclude sleeping Israelites and the strangers? How can the Most High use me if I refuse to socialize with non-believers and I cannot relate to other people? The scriptures reveal the eyes of the Most High searches back and forth seeking people he can show himself strong through. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. How can the Most High show himself strong through you if you cannot relate to other people and you isolate yourself? How can anyone witness the work the Most High is doing in your life if no one is able to see or hear of it? Israelites, what if I allow the fact that I am extremely private and reserved stop me from posting videos online? All the wisdom and understanding the Most High has given to me to share with his people around the world would profit no one. What is the purpose of the Most High opening my understanding of the scriptures? I retain the information and remain silent. Israelites, the Most High has a reason to why he chose to wake you and me up at such a time as this. Now is not the time to become religious and self-righteous. You have a job to do, every single one of you the Most High has revealed this truth to. You may be the forerunners to assist the next wave of Israelites the Most High is about to wake up. If you isolate yourself, how will you fulfill your duty? It is time we humble ourselves and allow the Most High to show himself strong through us. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall thy enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this?